Hey guys, I wanted to give you a few tips um, when it comes to actually making your project in Cricut Design Space when you are, um, are when you've already clicked on the Make It button. A few things that you can do right there um, on the screen where you make it, as opposed to having to come back to this screen. So right now I have the shapes. I have some shapes on my screen. And all I did was I just placed a hexagon on my screen and then I duplicated them and just placed them um, in different colors. So if this is all I want it to do and I go up in the top right corner and click on make it, let's say I decide, you know what? I really just want two blacks, a red and a yellow. All you have to do is actually go to the red mat and right click, excuse me, not right click, but click on the, um, the three little dots on the left hand side. This is called the ellipsis. And if you click on that, it's going to allow you to move the object or hide the object. So if you don't want the object any longer in your project, you would select hide. But if you wanna move it, you just select move object and it's gonna give you this move object window to allow you to select where you want to move it to. So I want to move the red to the black. So I'm just going to select it and hit confirm. And now you can see here that there is no, um, no red, nothing on the red. Everything is on now you have on the black. Okay. And all you have to do is move that extra image. All I did was click to move the image over. And so now I have two black, okay? But let's say that you decide you no longer want the yellow. So you click on the yellow mat. And then again, you're gonna click the image and then select the little three dots on the left-hand side and select hide selected, okay? So now you can see there is nothing on the yellow the yellow mat. So all you have now is just two images on your black mat and then one on your purple mat, all right? But let's say you get here and you say um, move object on the purple mat and you get there and you say, you know what? Um, I don't have the color. You can click on new and it's going to allow you to change the color. So I just selected brown and hit confirm and now I have a brown one, okay? So I just wanted to share that really neat trick with you and how once you get here, if you need to change the colors um, on your objects, you can do so just by clicking on the three little dots, which are the ellipses in the top left corner of the image. And again, you have to make sure that you select your image before you can do anything. So I don't have the image selected, so I don't have any options. But if I click the image, then I get the, the option. And you can also move your images around. So let's say that you actually have your vinyl in the middle of your screen, you know, uh, not screen, but in the middle of your mat, uh, right below the five um, mark, kind of sort of here, then you can move it and it will automatically um, now when it gets to the brown, it's going to go here to actually cut this image out from here and not where we normally cut from in the top left corner, okay? So you can actually place that, move it anywhere that you need to move it on your screen, but make sure that's where your vinyl is, okay? Um, and Cricut will go there and cut instead of cutting from the top left corner. So I just wanted to share those few tips with you. Um, if you have any questions about what you saw here, then feel free in reaching out to me. And if you are a member in my Facebook group, Ken Dorses Cricket and Creative Crafters, then thank you guys so much for being a member of the group. And if not, feel free to send a request to join our group. And if you are currently not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can find me on YouTube by searching Doris Edwards and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also click in the top right hand corner on the little bell and that's going to notify you anytime I upload a video to YouTube. 
which I do um, normally any uh, between one and two or more times per week. All right, lots of video tutorials on my YouTube channel. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thank you so much again for tuning in. And as always, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. Have a great day, guys.